collecting the diagnosis information for SCP HANA, either in HANA Studio or directly from the command line. Let me first show you the way to do it in HANA Studio. When you have your HANA Studio opened, you want to go to the Administration Editor. Once you are in the Administration Editor, you can see the tab Diagnosis Files. If you click the Diagnosis Information button, it gives you a drop-down menu with the option to collect the full system dump. Then a pop-up window appears and here you can select Include System Views or not by selecting or deselecting the checkbox. You can also set the date range, but by default it's set to 7 days. Once you're done selecting, you can click Finish. Now, I want to show you where to go to download the full system dump. Go back to the button Diagnosis Information and select the option List. Another pop-up window will appear. Here it shows you a list of full system dumps that you have collected. At the bottom of the window, you will see the status update saying the full system dump is being collected. Once it's done, the button Download Collection is enabled and you can select the dump and click on the Download button to download it. Next, I would like to show you how to collect the full system dump from a PuTTY session on your HANA server. Once you're logged on as the OS Administrator, SID ADM, you want to go to the Python support directory where you can find the script Full System Info Dump. The terminal shortcut is CDPY. Once we are in the directory, let's execute the script full system info dump .py. Give it some time to collect the dump because it will take a while. Now you can go to the directory usr sap sid sys global sap control snapshots to find the full system dump. 